guys and welcome back to another episode of Trick Tens. Today I've got a special guest with us. This is Jason Cusick from the ROLS Electric Only Tournament. We've got a build here. It's a 1448 low Big John. This personal rig. It's going to be my first electric build. This thing is going to be sick. I'm going to go ahead and let him tell you a little bit about his organization. So we run an all electric club based out of Richmond, Virginia. Richmond Let's Open Series. You can find us on Facebook at RLOS Open Series, or you can go to our webpage, uh, electricbassfishing.com. It's a 36 volt electric club. You can't have one motor that runs on more than 36 volts. It's got a working live well. It's open to anybody in the public. We've grown it over the last five years. We started out with 12 boats. We're up to like 50 to 55 boats per tournament. Payouts pretty good. We've got a couple of big sponsors that jumped on in the last couple of years. Uh, just take, stay tuned to our page. We'll be announcing all that stuff in the next couple of days. And if you feel like coming to fish, man, just look us up and get out there. All right, cool. So we're gonna get right into it. Let's get back to work. All right, guys, so this is my next project. It's a low Big John and it's 14 foot. It's not my favorite type of boat to build. It's riveted, and if it wasn't for the fact that this boat belongs to Jason and Melissa Cusick, I would not be doing this boat right now. But the bottom line is, I told them I would help them out, and I'm about to kill this thing. So I hope you guys are ready. Let's take a look at it. So they did a good job cleaning it up. They removed a lot of the carpet, interior stickers, and decals, and all that good stuff. But this back deck right here, it's wood with carpet. Yeah, that, that's gone. This aluminum framing in here though, we might actually be able to reuse that. So that is a plus. This thing needs a floor bad. And that pump right there for the fresh water intake for the live well, that's stupid. I mean, if this was my boat, I, I probably would have stepped on that thing and broke it off and sank the boat a long time ago and it wouldn't even be an issue right now. But this is hooked up to the live well, which is in the existing bench seat, which is pretty cool. But it's a plastic tank and uh, yeah, she gone too. That brings us into our front deck, which is also plywood and carpet. Two things I cannot stand, so she gone too. Let's get up into this trolling motor here. It's a nice trolling motor. This bracket though is super ugly and it's wood, which is a no-no, so she's gone too. I got my work cut out for me. I'm gonna go ahead and start tearing this thing apart because I'm already behind schedule and I'm trying to get them ready to fish their tournaments starting in uh, about a month. So it's time for me to get back to work. All right guys, so I just wanted to share this with you. I just pulled this little screen here off of the live well recirculator pump back here and I couldn't figure out why I couldn't get it out. Then I started looking in here and I saw this. So I cut this out with a razor just a second ago. It's like a bunch of tape, I guess. It's a liner going over it, which actually is covering up a crap ton of sealant. It's probably 5,200. Look at this. There's another nut behind all that crap. I've seen a bunch of stuff in the live well, but this one caught me surprised. So I just wanted to share this with you again. Um, this is a two by eight. Uh, both pieces are about 32 inches long. Um, there's a lot of holes in them and they were mounted right here on this front deck holding the trolling motor up. There's a lot of holes in this front deck. And if you're wondering why, it's cause I just took 30 steel screws out of here. I mean, these are like deck screws and I got huge hands some of these screws these gray ones right here these are four inch long screws so there's a ton of steel in here but that's all right i'm gonna fix this up i'm gonna build a little custom mount 
for this trolling motor right here. And uh, this thing's gonna be sick when it's done. Let's get back to work. All right, so these are all the frames of the hatches that are gonna be going into the boat. I really wanted to try to finish up all of the framework that's gonna be in the decks and the floor of the boat. So I wanted to get at least these frames made up so I can make sure that I allow adequate spacing in between my drop-in holes and my decks and floor framing. So I'll finish these up later with the lids and hinges and handles and all that good stuff. I'm basically just using these for the outside frame to make sure they work and drop in. So we got the entire front deck framing removed and the new front deck framing is installed. What we put in here on these two long pieces coming back, this is a 1x3 116th tube. The rest of these pieces are 2x1 rectangular tube. They're very lightweight. It's a lot stronger than what was in there. These two big openings here are going to have hatches installed in them and the sides are basically just going to be covered up with some aluminum. Okay, so this boat has a pretty big hole on the side. This was basically where the pump was mounted to fill the live well. It was kind of in an awkward position. So we're gonna relocate that. I'm gonna go ahead and cover this up with a patch from the inside and fill it with weld from the outside and grind it flush. So we covered up that hole, we filled it in with weld, and once we sand it and paint it, it won't even be noticeable. What I'm gonna do now is focus on this back bench seat. I've got two hatches already cut and made for this back bench. I'm gonna put one on either side, left and right, just like the normal bills. In the center, we're gonna throw a seat post. This is the hatch frame we're putting on either side. I'm gonna put two of these in here. I'm gonna go ahead and lay these out, cut them out, and remove all this foam and drop them in. Let's get back to work.
as you can see, we went ahead and cut out the metal in this back bench seat, and there's a lot of foam in here. I'm gonna show you how to cut this out with this sawzall with an eight inch blade. I wanna make it look easy. We're gonna get this thing wrapped up, show you how much space we got inside this back bench. Alright, so this is where his transducers were mounted before, and there's a ton of holes in here. So I'm gonna clean this up, weld this, and then I'm gonna put a piece of one by three rectangular tubing on here. That way we can attach the transducers to that and we don't have to put any more holes in the boat. The transducer block is installed. It's just a piece of one by three by one eighth inch aluminum rectangular tubing. Um, I fashed up all these other holes and with this on here, now if you wanna install a new transducer or upgrade electronics, you don't have to put any more holes in the boat. You put them into this piece right here. Look at that aluminum framing. 
This thing is turning out sick. I'm really excited about this build. I've probably put 20 hours into it in the past two days, and uh, I can't believe how quickly it's coming together. But it looks really cool. I'm gonna give you a little walkthrough of what we've got done so far. We were able to use the framing that he had already. I might have to tweak it a little bit, but basically what we're gonna do is throw a hatch on this side in the back, a hatch on this side in the back, and then obviously we've got these two hatches right here in the original bench seat. Something about this boat that's pretty cool, I did not realize, is that with the electric only, he's running a Torquedo motor, and that motor does not have to have a tiller on it. He basically keeps it locked in one position, and he runs his trolling motor to steer the boat from the front. He's got a power switch for it up there, it's a foot pedal. You either turn it on or off. And with that being said, you don't have to sit on this bench and reach back and grab a tiller arm, so we were able to extend this back bench seat forward which I've never been able to do. Most of my builds, you need to have accessibility to the tiller arm, not with this one. So what we did is we extended this 16 inches forward. This is gonna allow him a tackle storage space that's 16 inches wide by about 48 inches in the floor. You could probably fit 30 Plano boxes in here and still have room. It's gonna be pretty cool when it's all done. We also added the side panels here on both sides and basically, this square here is going to be a drop down to his floor. So he'll still have a floor that's about 30 inches by 46 inches. Obviously this is the live well. We're still gonna put one more hatch on this side or that side. It's going to house the electronics and electrical panel, but I still gotta build the live well for that. But this front deck turned out sick. It's got two big hatches, one here and one in front of that. Basically, this front one is going to be storage, and this one's going to house a couple batteries, actually three batteries, and it's still going to have a little bit of storage on either side of that. The existing little nose deck up here on the bow, I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do with that. We're playing around with some different ideas, but we're going to have something cool up there too. This whole thing came together very quickly. I want to give a big shout out to Jason Cusick for coming down and helping me because this is his boat and it was nice having him here with the layout because he actually got to hand pick what he wanted, how he wanted it, and what he thought would best suit his needs on the water. I hate to do it, but it's about that time. Actually, it's well past that time. This is probably the longest video that I've put out as far as the builds go. Um, I've put a ton of work into this thing and I had a lot of help. I'm glad that Jason came down. Big shout out to him, because he did a lot of work and probably saved me about 10 hours worth of time. Um, this boat is coming together very quickly. It's only been two days since the customer picked up the last build, and this one has already been completely stripped. All the framing installed, as you just saw. I'm gonna build the hatches in the next day or so and get all that stuff squared away. I'm gonna start painting this thing I'm actually going to go ahead and start painting some of it tonight. So I appreciate you guys watching and this thing is going to be done before you know it. I got to get back to work.